through Telltale, casting is a really important part of our process, and getting Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd involved has been great to help sell the authenticity of the game. Michael J. Fox let us have the rights to his likeness for the character of Marty, which is great. When we found out that he wouldn't be available for voice recording, we had to set out and find someone who could do a really great Marty voice. We obviously had to find someone who could really nail it, and doing a sound-alike casting is difficult because their bar is set so high. When I was younger, I guess when I was going through puberty, I sounded a lot like Marty, and people would always say to me, you sound like, you know, that guy from Back to the Future. AJ had approached the company, and we're not exactly sure how it got where it got, but the MP3 ended up in my inbox. Doc, you gotta listen to me. The bruise, the bruise on your head, I know how that happened. You told me the whole story. So they sent me the, the, the casting sessions. I'm listening to this A.J. Lucasio guy, and I just stopped in my tracks. And I listened to it, and if I didn't know that this was not Michael, I would have assumed it was. Michael J. Fox is a hero of mine. Doc, come back! Doc! I've done a lot of, you know, student voiceover work, but this is, this is my first professional gig, and it's huge. Oh! <laughs> I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd ever be doing this. I mean, it was something that was kind of a joke when I was younger, like, hey, it does a great Martin McFly impression, and now it's something that, you know, I'm actually doing it for work. I get to say, you know, what the hell is a gigawatt? And it's, it's, no one's laughing at it. They're like, okay, good, let's record that.